Tis the season for Starbucks peppermint mochas, provided you did not invest in an S&P index fund to start the year because they will set you back north of $7 with tax. Of course, your caffeine intake is not the only thing going up from there. You see, Starbucks has rolled out a new tipping feature, and for those who pay only with credit cards, and baristas are well steamed, if you will, and customers are angry, venti, Venting frustration on TikTok are these baristas with the new hashtag barista problems. You see, videos are racking up millions of views, employees even hiding from their customers when this awkward transaction ensues. They hold out the credit machine. Option one, $1 tip. Option two, $2 tip. Or there's the option to do none or other. Here in New York, your average Starbucks barista makes $16.75 an hour. Not bad. Here's a tip then for Howard Schultz. Make those options a quarter, 50 cents, and call me a cheapskate. Zero should be on the main screen for pouring my cold brew in a cup. And Shauna, my tipping point came last night. Madison Square Garden paid. This okay. guy here paid $17.24 for a Hard iced tea, seventeen twenty four, and then came the option for the tips. One dollar, two dollar, three dollars. You know I chose other and opted for a quarter. Am I a cheapskate? Or if we all just reached our collective tipping point, it is absurd. It is a little absurd. I also like that your choice was twisted tea out of everything that was available at MSG, <laughs> but we'll talk about that, that another Light time. But no, girl. a quarter, I do agree with that because I think a lot of people are a little bit overwhelmed and I think people feel bad about if they don't tip and they want to give something, but they don't necessarily want to give a dollar or two dollars, especially in this current economic environment when people are paying more and more for almost every single product in their life. So I think this it was interesting what you said about the baristas, some of them hiding and it being They're very They're embarrassed for by them. this policy. Yeah, so it's, I wouldn't be then surprised if maybe Starbucks uh, shifts its whole view on this maybe and maybe does, maybe they should take your advice, offer a quarter or 50 cents. But more broadly speaking, tipping this holiday season, the trends that we are seeing, more people are tipping, but to your point, they're tipping less. So if you are maybe yeah. giving more of an option, the quarter 50 cents, something that doesn't jump out so much to the people that are buying these products on the screen, it will make everyone feel a little bit better and people will take home more at the end of the day, hopefully. Yeah, look, and I think you're actually hurting these baristas with this policy, not just the embarrassment factor, but the fact that I'm staring at a $1 option yeah. after a $7 cup of coffee means I'm ultimately more likely to push zero because there ain't no way we can afford an eight dollar cup of coffee so i think the smart policy would be to bring it when we used to have some change in our pocket yeah. that's what we put in the tip jar do you or do you not i admit sorry baristas i do not tip at starbucks but you tip you? i've seen you tip that you've tipped our uh, our barista here our guy yes i do <laughs> tip do our, tip. our so guy you, do tip. you don't have bar. to count yourself out. i don't always tip sometimes i do sometimes it don't really depends on the mood but I would tip a lot more if there was a quarter or 50 cent option. I do agree with you.